Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, we were attempting to uh, fix a whole bunch of problems on the... which Now, which one was it? It was the construction materials plant and the quarry and everything that went with that. Now, overall, I didn't manage to really fix too much. Perhaps time will tell, and I have seen a couple of comments with some suggestions as to what to do with the quarry, with the amount of people, or the amount of trucks that were there. I do apologise, my voice is doing all sorts of funny things today, but uh, there we go. My voice tends to do a lot of funny things very, very often. Unfortunately, it just has been like that for as far back as I can remember actually many 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 years sometimes it works well sometimes it does this which is annoying anyway I am going to be clearing my throat a lot more in this particular video all that aside as I said we were trying to uh, fix something and the quarry was the quarry got a little backlogged I guess there are going to be some fixes on that I did read them one of them I did think for myself, which was to create a station with multiple platforms, similar to how I've done at the Weetabix farm and at the other food place, which is nearby for nearby compared to Bracknell. So currently, as you may have noticed, if you've been following this series for a while, we are in Bracknell. And down the road, we have the other food farm. Perhaps I should just name it the Hovis Farm or the King's Mill Farm. Bread companies in the United Kingdom. Perhaps in other places as well, the Warburton's Farm. That would be quite uh, quite nice. Anyway, what I want to do today is move away from the freight a little, just for an episode, and do a bit of passenger line work. And I want to lay a new line today from Bracknell to Attleborough. Sounds a bit strange going straight across the map, it isn't something I often do. But I thought it might be a good way, good thing to do. And we could make use of the two freight lines that we have, connect them together, and it's just going to give this this nice twisty uh, sort of style. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. And hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please make sure that you are clicking on the like button, you are leaving comments, and you are subscribing if you are new to this channel. Let's get started, let's see what I can do. There may be a little less talking here, a little bit more building, just because I really do not want to strain my voice. Okay, so getting started, the plan here is I want to make use of... Or could I make use of this entire station? Probably not. No, wait, that is served by that station. I could make use of that station. Hmm... Okay, let's make use of the old station. Why not? So let, let's let's make use of that station. So we are going to come down here. Uh, I'm just having a look at this station to see what I could potentially do. Yes, okay. We're going to come down here, follow this along. Of course, eventually we will probably do this connection here. But we'll follow this along go all the way down here and then instead of peeling off in this direction oh I could actually put bushes and stuff on this that would be so cool we'll peel off in this direction we'll jump onto this wobbly line and then instead of going right here we'll peel off left we'll follow this line all the way along 
up to here, but instead of stopping here, of course, we shall continue. And we shall continue and join up to this station. So, that is the plan. I guess there's only one thing to do, and that is to get started with said plan. I'm going to ruin all of my um, neat fencing that I, I laid out here a long time ago. What I should be doing, tell you what I should be doing is I should be taking a lot more in the way of of thumbnails so that there's some sort of picture record of of my progress over time, and then and then you get to see how how things were and how things now are. So, for example, over here. This would be an interesting way to be able to tell how things grew in in this area. That is a looking at that from an aerial view. That really is not a a great um uh, a great connection. Right, let's go ahead and get this bit done. So first off, we'll say that this is well, what speed were these? 40? 40. Let's go ahead and start connecting this up at 40 down into that. And immediately that does work for us. And I could do the same thing here like so and then into I should be able to get it right into the corner at 40. Okay, it does 38. Do you know what? 38 will will have to do. So, that is that section immediately completed. What I really could do is if I wanted to, I could just single track it and turn the other track into, into rust. That is something I could do. What I am going to do, though... So I am going to do... Oh, okay. Well, apparently that doesn't want to do it the way I want it to do it, so... I keep pressing that. That's the key I want. There we go. Let's clear this bit up. And I'll have to look at placing more... more bushes or something here to, to make it look like it... it, it, is all dis it has all disappeared. Uh, let's see. Now, realistically, could I could I double track this? Just this section here, because if you look at this, this section looks double tracked, or looks like it would be ready to double track. We could double track this entire area. I think a rework of this may be needed at some point. I have to have a look. Okay, what if I did this? If I did that all the way around, it will it just and what I mean just it, it does just fit. Okay, new idea. New idea. You no, wait. Whoops. Uh pause. Pause that. Destroy this bit, and we'll join you up there. We'll join you up. Ah, we'll join you up there, and then we'll join you into this, because that is essentially how it originally was, or closer to how it originally was. So, so you can see the old track, the new track, the slight different slight elevation change for example in fact wait no even better why don't I just bring that across two and slip it there we go now we are talking that looks um, much better and then over here this changes so we'll go ahead and 
do that. There we go. Check the routing there. That seems to be working reasonably. Good. And then what we shall have to do is... Ah, if I go ahead and turn this this way and look at a... Oh, we're looking for a 40 mile per hour turn, which is probably not going to happen. So what we need to do is perhaps turn it a bit earlier. There we go. So realistically, that could connect there at 40 and then continue on on this single track, which does sort of make sense. And then we could do the same thing just behind it. So we do we do that and then squish it down. Ah. We said we do that and squish it squish it no. Okay, wait. We do that and squish it down to a single track at 40. So that becomes a, a single track thing. We then need to look at passing points. So naturally, this is going to be one passing point because we are uh, now we're going up to 50, actually. So we'll go 50. I'm actually going to create this as a track that goes along there. Now, the reason I've done this, oh, I hate it when it does this. I wish I knew what actually caused causes it to do these teeny tiny bits. Absolute pain. Um, the reason I've done that is that you may have noticed this will end up being a collision if I did not do that. However, at this point, we'll get the too much slope error. I have not seen a too much slope error in years. I say that, I think I have, but not not all too often. Okay. So, we are going to cross here. Double track crossing for a bit. We shall then... bring this in this is this is where it is going to be a little bit more interesting so this is a passing spot now that is quite a long section to wait but i think we can manage because if you've got a train barreling down at 50 here you could wait for a while surely now it, this farm, this this station is going to get bigger, so we need to really consider that this station could end up, for example, that big. So we want to make sure that that is a thing that is taken into account, and then we could we could do this. No, 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 no. We we cannot do that. We could do this, though. We, we, we could do that. It works. Sort of. Okay. So that is our new way across. That is so, so wobbly. I believe the word for it is uh, janky? Perhaps? Right, next up, where do we go from here? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking if we go along here, then along the edge of this, then it's going to end up through the middle of all of these. Ah. Well, whilst the autosave is happening, let me figure out how we're going to exit from 
from here to two tracks peeling out run along this area wait no we need to go that way so run along two tracks peel out run along along here there's a hill in the way it needs to sort of run along Ah, we need to run along here. There we go. Along the edge of this, so therefore we need to be along this inside. There and along there. Across that, along there. And then we will have to work it out. So, because this is going to go horribly wrong. Wait, it is not going horribly wrong yet. Make that a little smaller. So far so good? Promising? Maybe? Got to stay fairly close and if I if I were to go slightly too far over onto the track the other side of the, the fence will also be demolished. Now over here this isn't too much of a problem because this is double track and there we go that was a lot easier than I thought it would be let's go ahead and do a 25 mile per hour turn and find out where it sort of wants to go we want it to be there so how do I do that? Let's demolish this bit. And have the... That is wrong. Have it... No, that is also... Why does it do this? Right, so we have to stay... First we have to stay with it being flat. For a short amount of time the reason being is that this is all flat so just for this initial turn we leave it flat then we've got to get it around that way so now let's yeah let's do that to it and I guess we could probably bring it up to, yep, 40. Could we bring it up to 50? We could. 50 to 25. What could go wrong? We are already roughly headed in the right direction. That's still, that would want it to go a little bit higher than I'd want. So let's try to do this now. Wouldn't be a Transport Fever 2 episode if I did not press the wrong keys. That, okay, surprisingly this is going remarkably well. So we'll go up there now. I would have an idea. I have an idea for smoothing a lot of this out. In fact, should I smooth it out from here? I think I should. Let's use the tools. Let's use the tools in the other way. I would like you to smooth this out from here to here. Ramp equaliser. See what we got. Do we have a game crash? Do we have a game crash? Do I hear a game crash? Game crashing going once. Going twice. Crashed? Still thinking about it? 
Still thinking about it. Wait for it. There we go. Now, how much did that change? It did change a bit. It certainly changed a bit. So, what I should do... is first find out where the track speed limit changed from. In fact, I think I got it from the right spot. From there, and then just run this along. This is such a good tool. It honestly is an excellent, excellent tool. Look how smooth that gradient now is all the way up. Exactly as I would want it to be. Right. Anyway, enough waffling on. Let's uh, continue. This is where things are going to get interesting. We are going uphill and I guess for now we could be okay with that. This is this is all going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes we're going to have to lose, sorry. That's uh those are lyrics. There we go. Look at that. We are we are not exactly where we want to be but we are not far off right at this point I'm not going to do that at this point I think um, a tunnel may be in order what, what is the hold on what's the height here 88 what's about here 81 What's about here? 79. Yes. A tunnel. He says a tunnel and instead we get this. Oh boy. This is going to need a bridge. But you know what? It does make sense. Also realised, what am I doing? This is a branch line that does not need all of those. There we go. Uh, 50, yeah, thank you. Right. No, 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 you stay flat, please. There we go. Okay, now what did I say I needed to do? I need to follow along that bit there. And would you look at that? Of course, if this farmer here did, did not give me... Uh, permission to build through his farm or her farm their farm it's robots I suppose it's in its farm oh no oh what have I done it's a good thing I'm starting to remember which ones are what Yes, if, if I did not have permission to build on on this farm, then then perhaps I would be in a spot of bother. But as luck would have it, this is a game. And in this game, that is something that I do not need to worry about. This is pretty neat. Just a straight line all the way. I mean, the detailing on this is is going to be have to be there. Oh, we're going to cut through 
the good old parts where I didn't know what I was doing and I decided well let me go ahead and, and make ah let me go ahead and make what I can uh, this is going to be interesting because I kind of need it to peel off in that direction so perhaps as soon as we go across this bit we then immediately peel off to straight line the next bit which is exactly what is happening good but is this have I timed this straight line bits correctly I have and there we have it we have connection okay so we have two sections one there no, we just have the one section. One there, obviously, we have this bit here. But one, two, and three. But just the one section in the middle. Where traffic will have to wait. It could work. It's very well could work. And that has actually connected the these two towns not only that I just realize that if i were to put a freight station here i could connect up a freight line here to follow this around and go to the farm i would say the same for these two but i think i could just connect these two as a as a natural extension going out that way but um hmm things to think about right i have a little bit of time so what i'm going to do is i think it is probably a good idea to look at station tracks hello that is new. Hmm. I think what I'm going to try and do is put a bit more or some of this back in. Because that would make all the sense to me. messed up this one a little haven't I problem with this is that is this bit is here realistically I could just do that and no oh, I could just do that and there we go job done and then over here do that and it's like still could do that there and then that there add some trees here this is this looks pretty realistic why are you so high up though hmm that's a little curious okay okay grab that that and down you go two meters please pretty please there we go that is a little better then then it rises up all the way okay uh that looks good that looks good i guess this area needs a little bit of work so yes because that is exactly what i wanted sometimes i do wonder how transports fever 2's logic sort of dictates what should it build next an extremely wobbly route okay but of course 
this is still an excellent title. One of the best titles I have ever played in the strategy tycoon genre. Um, yes, it's as as with many other titles, it could do with it could do with some work, but as a whole, given the fact that I have absolutely annihilated it with modding it is holding up remarkably well i think my voice has cleared up a bit as well great perhaps all i need to do is talk a bit uh let's get rid of that bit because i felt like that was a little too close so i was thinking of putting trees here and if i were to do that then I guess I want to have... In fact, I said it was. I shall leave that to you. Let me know in the comments box how do you want me to detail this. So I've done this bit and I'll add some trees here. But all of this, how do you want me to detail this? Do you want me to line it with trees? Just to use... Uh, these bushes do a, a bit of a combination of both what do you want to see in how this all pans out this just looks like it's um going into a wheat farm that would be quite cool in, well technically it is going into a wheat farm but you see my point so yes do let me know in the comments box below how you want to see this work and how you want to see this pan out tell you what i'll do is i shall not uh, bring up the console what i shall do is look for a thumbnail opportunity here i'll call this twisty twisty branch line something but i don't know still that is somewhat wobbly and it does kind of show what I have been doing or some of what I have been doing that is where I shall end this video thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transports fever 2 the UK modded series this is more like a normal sized video great uh, in fact I'll tell you what before I do end the video let me let me have a quick look at this and see Yes, so we have this delay. Okay, let's me do a quick fix here and then end the video. But of course, as I was saying, if you do like these videos, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's it would really help me out if you do those. Leaving comments would would also help. What is go oh right? Yes. Oops. Yes, there is going to be a ding ding, but we shall fix said ding ding by doing this. There we go. Uh, we shall demolish that bit and add this bit. Yes, I know there was a I know there was a ding ding, but that is that fixed. Yes, uh, your comments would very much uh, be appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Supporting me on Patreon, link to that is in the description box below. So doing that would also very much uh, help too. Why does that have red? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, if you can do so, please do do uh, do, do that. Uh, also, you can find me on social media at ECGadgetsLP for both Twitter and Instagram. Lastly, you can find my Discord server. A link to that is also in the description box below if you wish to join that. That is all from me. There is uh, one of the two suggestions completed. I'll have a look at how this runs before I perhaps remove a few of the uh, a few of the trucks. Uh, what do you call them? Road trains? 
steam steam train steam road trains whatever it is uh, so before I remove them I'll have to see if this one works because I'd like to have the the slight capacity but it, it may not help so that is all from me and I shall see you next time in transports fever 2 the UK modded series